Salam alaikum. Thank you, Khadija. Um, after that build-up, I'm not quite sure where to go. Um, the, the, the current uh, Methodist church along the Penner Road was opened in 1957, and it uh, succeeded a building uh, which was constructed in 1927. So the old church became the hall. We added bits on. Gradually, you, you acquire a suite of premises, which initially were largely meant for church members, but over the years, more and more, we have uh, made these, these spaces available to a range of community groups. But it presents us with a bit of a, presents us with a, bit of a dilemma. Um, obviously, we've got to keep the roof on, so you know, we make a, a modest charge for the, for the use of the, for, for, of the premises. But how do you actually d change the relationship from being one of, as it were, landlord and lessee into a partnership with people. Now, that's the thing we've not yet managed to crack entirely. In some cases, we have. Um, and ideally, that's the sort of relationship we would like with all those groups, um, because the, the call for community space for so many is really quite, quite high in this area. Um, and suburbia can be a bit anonymous, so the whole idea of trying to create community, I think, is really important. So that's a little conundrum for us, which we're working away at. You've got the potential with this extraordinary building, perhaps to do it in faster time, because you'll be starting straight away from something new. Um, it's going to be quite astonishing uh, when it's completed whenever that is. Uh, yeah. uh, and we've seen the progress of it uh, over the last couple of years as you've gradually sort of, it's, it's, it's risen out of the basement, at least to where it is now. Um, but again, that, it will be the landmark building in this part of the borough, won't it? I mean, most people know North Harrow by the clock tower of Wheelstone Motors. It's not too brilliant, really, is it? Uh, but this, I think, will be architecturally something very, very significant. But it's not just about the architecture, it's, what, it's about what the architecture embodies and what you're trying to make of it. Uh, yes, as a place for prayer and worship uh, and for uh, education for your own community. Um, and I know from your plans that you do want it to be a focal point for the community. And here it is, within a stone's throw of the main crossroads. So that's the thing I think you want to sort of you'll, you'll want to focus on is unlocking that potential to help create community and create partnerships. Um, it's been a great delight to me over the last few years that we've, uh, we meet, as uh, you've already mentioned, usually every couple of months, Methodists, Anglicans and Mafia Lally. Um, and I think the levels of trust have built up in such a way that we now spend some of our time uh, reflecting on our sacred texts. We can do that, I think, with confidence uh, and with the sense that we can listen to one another. We discuss some of the activities that we're planning. Another bake-off due in May. The 5th of May, that's right, so uh, get ready for cakes in quantity. I mean, the number, of, the number of entrants we had last time nearly defeated the tasters because we thought we were going to get about 30. And what was it, 100 and, 108? 108. Um, and one of the tasters was diabetic, poor man. I don't know how he coped with it, but anyway, there we go. Um, but he, he survived. He survived. Um, and the, the sort of the, 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 a, a later development has been that we now actually can find time to pray together before we leave. Uh, and I think that is a very special time for all of us. Uh, and we can find, from our different perspectives, a way to come into the presence of God. Thank you. Thank you very much for that rather